So today we're going to unbox and test this weird little mini projector. So this isn't normally the kind of product that I would even buy, but I stumbled across it on Amazon while I was searching for digital projectors. And yeah, so it's apparently a tiny elephant shaped plastic digital rechargeable projector that projects from micro SD cards. Now, normally I'd have just skipped past that and ignored it, but there was something really compelling about this, which was the price. This product was seven pounds something, seven pounds 19, I think, or something like that. Including shipping, it came to less than £10. There were, in fact, other examples of this which were priced around the £5 mark, but with higher shipping, so it came out about the same either way. So, less than £10 for a digital projector. How good can that possibly be? I actually thought I was going to be ripped off here and either sent something that just isn't this product at all, or maybe sent something that has a slot that you slide a mobile phone into and it projects from the brightness of the screen itself on the mobile phone. But well, if the packaging is to be believed, this has got buttons and slots and things. So I guess we're going to have to open it up and have a look. But first, let's just look around the packaging. So on the top, we've got some icons. We've got uh, a play button. We've got music, word. I don't know if that means it can project documents. That's interesting. And yeah, some sort of diary or book. I don't know why they've put these on here. On this side, we've got, again, just some very generic icons. On this side, we've got specifications. So let's have a close look at those. So, attention, not waterproof, contains optical components, do not drop, do not bend, pull parts by brute force, do not look directly light source to avoid eye injury, contains small parts, children should be accompanied by parents to use. Focusing distance 0.3 to two meters, battery capacity 2000 milliamp hours, I doubt it. Charging method micro USB, projection size 6.7 to 80 inches, Maximum brightness greater than 130 lux at 6.7 inches. Projection maximum video decoding capability 720p. I think that's talking about the files it can read rather than the actual resolution of the imaging component. I'd be very surprised if this is anything more than 320 by 240. Right, without further ado, let's open it up and see what we got. There's nothing else on the box. So... Okay, well, I've seen projectors packaged a bit like this before. And there it is. Remarkable. So, we've got a micro USB cable. We have the projector itself. We'll just put that aside for a moment. We've got a qualified certificate, QC pass. Number 12, I don't think these mean anything at all. I think they just print these in bulk and throw them in the box. And then a manual, kids projector manual, with pretty much the same information that was on the box, repeated, but operating instructions. Yeah. Okay, well, it's supposedly rechargeable. Let's have a look at the device itself. It's got, well, there is something in there because I can see a micro USB connector there. Um, so, yeah, and on the top here we've got buttons, we've got on-off switch, various things which are all described in the manual. Well, and there's not a lot else to see. So there's no, um, there's no HDMI in or anything like that. There's no way to power this directly from a live source. It looks like it will only play from a card, but if indeed it does anything at all. Well, let's switch it on and see if it does anything, shall we? There's a light. And, well, I can see something going on inside. Movie, Movie it said. Okay. Well, it's projecting something. I think we might have to turn the studio lights off here to actually get anything out of this. Okay, so with all of the studio lights turned off and the curtains drawn, we got an image projected on the wall there. That's at a distance of about um, maybe 75 centimeters. I'm still not getting it down to, let's see if we can actually get that focus to something a bit sharper. Mm, that seems to be going the wrong way. Maybe not. Okay, that is focusing to a 
that's probably about maximum sharpness but there we go so we've got something going on there and then now I can't read the instructions let's just press a few buttons and see see if anything happens null disk of course there's no there's no SD card Okay, well, it does appear to actually have a projector unit in there. The quality, I'm going to say, is not is not anything like good. But for 10 quid, I'm actually really impressed that this actually even has something in there at all. So I think the next thing to do is I'll put some video files on a card and some photos and we'll give it a little test. Okay, so here we go. I've got a card in there with some files on there to test. You have to create folders for the music, movies, pictures and study. So we're on the movie setting. Let's hit that and play. Now this was originally a widescreen 16.9 format. It's been squeezed down to 4.3 ratio. Okay, and we can pause and resume. And then exit. Movie. Okay, the built-in voice is a bit annoying. Picture. Okay, pictures. Okay, well, it displays a picture. I presume if I had more than one, it would probably do a slideshow. Picture. Okay. We'll have a look at music. Music. Is that a loop round? Yes. So you put a bunch of MP3s on there and it will play them in a loop. Um, interesting. It appears to have crashed now. Oh, no. Study. Music. Study. Right. Study. Hmm. File list. Okay, I put a Word document on there and a text file, and neither of those seem to have worked. I don't know what the file format is for that. I will consult the comprehensive manual. Okay, now I've got this on the shelf behind me. It's about two metres away from the wall, maybe 1.75 metres away from the wall, and I've refocused it to there just so we can get an idea of what the actual quality is like. So let's just resume that movie. That's interesting. It's it's stuck. I've noticed it tends to... I think that might just be low battery, to be fair. So here it is projecting at one meter in a completely darkened room. And yeah, the screen is actually nice and bright when you've got it in a completely dark room like this. The resolution is nothing special. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is 320 by 240. So that problem we had there with stuttering only seems to be fixed by a reboot. I have a feeling though that's to do with the bitrate I'm using for the video because that's actually a 720p video with quite a high bitrate. So I suspect if you rendered a cartoon or something down to 320 by 240 especially to put on this device, if you resize the video down to the native resolution of this device I don't suppose it would have very much trouble. Interestingly the brightness is actually adjustable so that's on the lowest brightness now. Still quite visible in a completely darkened room. And then the highest brightness is really nice and bright actually so in fact we could throw that a bit further away I'll just put that on the back wall here and we'll just have a look and see what that's like 
there we go so yeah then what I'm seeing on the video screen on the camera is pretty much what I'm seeing in this darkened room so that's pretty much how I perceive it as well so hopefully that gives you an idea it's interesting that it keeps on auto dimming I don't know if that's just because it's running on battery but anyway okay well I've got that on charge and there's a little orange light there it does appear to be charging well I don't know if you're as surprised as I am that this thing works at all and does some stuff that's okay it's not impressive but for 10 quid that's actually <laughs> surprising that they've managed to cram that in there really the design is something that's really rather crazy but the manual has something to say about that the manual says the projector is compact lightweight the whole appearance of a water spraying little elephant is vivid and lively full of childlike fun besides it has a small handle for children to grip children can manually adjust the focal length which improves children's actual operating ability the projector supports tf card which can store third-party content such as children's preschool video pictures music and text the projector is very easy and simple to operate well okay so just as a bit of fun i actually think that that's i just can't understand how it's possible to make this and ship it from china for less than 10 pounds it's just amazing it's just kind of a little bit worrying to be honest it appears to do what it's supposed to do that was a 720p video that we had playing on there and obviously it's downscaled it to the wrong aspect ratio and probably maximum 320 by 240 resolution but that's still pretty impressive for this price point so one more thing we should definitely test while we're here is whether the USB actually does anything in terms of whether it's got a USB host in there or whether that's just USB charging I think that's just USB charging I didn't hear Windows do anything there so there's no so there's no device obviously that's booted it up plugging it into the main into an external plugging it into external wait a minute there's a USB host so not at whoa so not only is this that's amazing so not only is this USB charging but it's got a USB host for the card so it, it it functions as an external card reader so once you've installed the card in there you can open those folders and see the files you put on them so that's just further amazement that they've actually crammed that in there as well I can't wait to see what's inside this box so we're gonna carefully open it up and see what we've got inside of here they've made the screws a little bit hard to get to I would otherwise use my new multi-bit screwdriver set but they've set them quite deep inside the plastic so tiny teeny little screws okay and there is one screw on the bottom there but I think I might leave that where it is until I've seen what's going on now I've got to be a little bit careful here oh, it's going to come okay right okay well there we go so well look at that there is actually a 18650 cell in there there's a tiny little speaker 8 ohm speaker over the other side there uh, now we can see here there's a Fresnel lens and a front silvered mirror and the little projector unit here which is presumably LED and yeah it's got an, an LED on a big heat sink and then just underneath that that ribbon cable is going to be going to a little LCD panel there. Well, we could maybe power this up while we've got it open. Is it going to let me do that? So we might actually get a look at what's going on. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yep, so there's a tiny little LCD transparent screen there. Fresnel lens in front. Front silvered mirror. Just with a optical just to bend the optical path out the front lens there that lens won't be you know it's not going to be Carl Zeiss lens or anything like that it's just a, a lens but let's put that there and then we can get a look at this host board so I wonder if that's a standard screen connector there because if that is a standard screen connector there we could put a Raspberry Pi in here and connect that there instead and then we could have a little 
projected screen from a Raspberry Pi or something. So there's lots of potential, I think, to hack this. I was hoping we might find some unpopulated connectors or something on the board here, but there doesn't appear to be very much of that. I was hoping we might find like an unpopulated um, HDMI or VGA or something input. Doesn't appear to be an awful lot of that sort of thing. I'm not going to pull it apart any more than that, I don't think, because oh, actually, I suppose if I take the card out and should power it off, really. Let's just take that circuit board out carefully. No, I'm going to damage it if I do, because it's all very modular. It's interesting how much thought they've put into putting this thing together. So there's our little transparent LCD screen. There is the main board. I presume that's going to be some sort of little ARM processor there. Let's get a close look at that so that you guys can read the number on it. But yeah, there we go. So all sorts of interesting stuff happening inside there. But anyway, let's get it back together for now just to see if I can actually do this without destroying it. Screen goes in there. PCB. Everything's got its own little slot, so this is very... There's a fair bit of care and thought has gone into the design here, which again makes it even more impressive considering the price of the product. Everything's got its own little slot that it sits into. Careful here that I'm not pinching cables or anything. Yep. I think he's done it. Let's just power that on and see if it works before I screw it back together. Movie. Yep. So we managed to do that without killing it. That was good. So I'm going to put that back together and then we'll have a little wrap up. So overall opinion. What an interesting little bit of tech. I can't, in all honesty and good conscience, call this junk because, OK, it's cheap and it's been built down to a price, although I don't know how they did it for that price. And it's nothing special and it doesn't perform highly and so on. But there's a lot of stuff that's gone into this and it does what it's supposed to do. And... Assuming it's got the decent battery life, which it looks like it will do with that 18650 in there, then for kids to watch cartoons in a darkened room on a wall, why not? It's If they break it, what have you lost? It's kind of a shame you can't plug an external source into it, because then we could do all kinds of interesting stuff with it. I kind of wish I was Ben Heck in a way, because I'm sure he would know how to hack this and make it into a portable games console or something like that. So if you want to see him do that, maybe you should pester him on one of his videos and see how much he can hack it. I'm sure he'd love this anyway, because it's kind of ridiculous. Now, I did go back and check to see if these are still available on Amazon, and the price has gone up since I bought it. I bought this for less than £10. The price is now £25, so I suspect that bargain price that I got at the very start there was either an error or perhaps when the product has just been listed and somebody had put it at a low price just to encourage a bit of sales or something like that. Can't find very many of these on Amazon now and they have gone up in price. It's £25 now, but to be honest, if you wanted these kind of components to make some sort of projector project of your own, then £25 would still not be a bad price for something like that. So I'm happy enough with this. It's an interesting little gadget and certainly serves its purpose. I think that we had some stuttering on the video and the firmware inside didn't seem all that stable. But I think some of that might be because the video I was putting through it was quite a high bit rate. I think if you rendered some videos at 320 by 240, which is probably the native resolution of this thing, um, cartoons or something like that, they'd be just fine. And actually giving that to kids on a rainy day to make a little cinema under a blanket or something like that, that would be quite a lot of fun. So that's all I've got on this for now. If you've got any ideas about the components or anything we could do for hacking this, then do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Oh,